got a collection of things here, have we? This is red campion here. Um, this, this is an early hedgerow, so you got hawthorn and uh, birch and crab apple over there. But yeah, this is red campion, so it's mostly gone to seed already. So little little um, pods here. Yeah. And you can see just little black seeds in there. Okay. So each, little, each one of those will produce a plant. Very easy to grow, just put on uh, naked soil. So there must be about 100 in each pod, is there? Yeah, there's quite a lot. So it's great yeah. for if you just come down and collect a whole lot of it in an envelope, whatever, and then put it onto your, yeah. your soil. Are there many people collecting wild seed like that? I don't know. I'm I'm sure. I was never aware, aware of it. My time. It's just, I suppose, a little bit time consuming. So mm. if people can buy it, it might save them time. But it's nicer to get your local genetic material that's adapted to your climate and soil. And mm. your, it's your heritage as well. Is that important? A which? To have it local. And, uh, well, it'll, it'll in theory do better because it's um, genetically adapted to the climate mm. and the soil. Um, and plus all the local ecosystem has evolved around it. So, but yeah, like say the example might be like bluebells. So Irish or English bluebells versus Spanish ones, which are bigger. But um, like you lose the whole unique genetic identity of the Irish ones if they cross breed with the Spanish. So there's programs to try and get rid of the Spanish ones if you can. Mm. 